Hi, Group One. It is the Sun Sage, and thank you all so much for tuning in to another Pick a Card reading. So, this Pick a Card is for those of you that may be in separation or no communication with your person um, to see will you reconcile. Um, I want to take a look at what's been going on between you and this person to see if there's any chance of a reconciliation coming in, what those energies look like. All right. So, if you haven't heard from your person or if there's tension between you at this time, this is the reading for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get into a group one. You guys have the amethyst, right? And you also have the hocus pocus tarot. Let's get it together. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's see what comes through. Will you reconcile with your person? Group one, will you reconcile with them? So let's see what comes through. Um, I want to see what happened. <laughs> yeah, I think I want to see what happened. So let's see. I'm going to grab some oracle messages and see what happened or what could have happened between you um, and your person so that we can see like the chances of reconciliation, how that plays out based on what happened between you. All right, so let's see what happened between group one and their person for why they're in separation and there's no communication at this time. What happened between them and their person? All right, don't worry. Okay, what happened between you and your person? Mm, bad karma, okay. What happened between group one and their person? <clears throat> union. So I feel like they kind of got with you on false pretenses. Like there was something about themselves they didn't say. Um, there was possibly someone else in the picture for a lot of you. Um, there was this person constantly gaslighting you saying, don't worry, you know, I don't have anyone else or don't worry, such and such and I are over. And that sort of became bigger than, than, than what it was supposed to be. It turns out that there was possibly a karmic connection involved. Um, not your connection with your person, perhaps, but definitely another person that feels like they had unfinished business with and there's some sort of cycle that they had to complete, but they didn't want to tell you. Um, I do feel like this person was in conflict because there was union on the table when it came to you and them like solid commitment when it came to you and them. And yet they had this karmic connection in the way they had these karmic circumstances. So for those of you that are like, yeah, we had circumstances that were keeping us apart, but not really a person. I feel that here, right? There's just something karmic that feels like it was interfering with the timing of how you two were supposed to come together. And so your person, I think, felt the pressure of becoming a, a committed partner to you. I think there was some fear there where they were telling you initially when you first met, oh, don't worry. I'm not afraid of commitment. I'm not afraid of intimacy. It's okay that we're getting closer. You know, I'm perfectly fine with this. And then it turns out they're not, right? So... I definitely feel like they, they gave off an impression that it wouldn't be a problem. You guys getting closer, you guys connecting on a deeper level, and it turned out to be something more complicated than they, yeah, support. So I feel like what happened between you and your person, group one, is there was, I feel almost a lack of support from them. It's interesting that support is here, but I feel a lack of support. I feel like a lot of you may have felt like you were dealing with somebody who had their moments of being wonderful and supportive when it came to you in this connection, but they checked out at like the worst times or they backed out from this connection when you needed them most. So something feels, yeah, something feels like they weren't there for you consistently rejection. If you look at support and rejection, you were rejected support from them and, and consistency from them. And so I feel like what happened between you is that I think this person ghosted. Okay. I feel like you haven't heard from them because they have not 
taken steps and initiative to reach out to you. And so a part of you has felt rejected. A part of you has felt like maybe I don't matter to this person. Maybe I'm not important. And maybe we don't have anything except a bad karmic connection. Okay. And so that was the very thing they told you you didn't have to worry about. That was the very thing they tried to say, oh no, I'm not going to play games. I'm not going to hurt you. And it turns out they did that they did. Okay. So let's see what the tarot says. All right. Yeah, we have the world. Will you reconcile with your person? We have the 10 of potions. That would be our 10 of cups energy. <clears throat> the king of candles. That would be our king of wands. Will group one reconcile with the person they are connected to? That they are in separation with or no communication? Chariot. All right. Okay, I got two more. I have the seven of candles and the sun. Interesting, the seven of wands with the sun, okay? So I feel like you will reconcile with your person. I'm picking up overall, yeah, I got a knight of candles here, a knight of wands. I'm picking up overall, you're just dealing with a really inconsistent person who still has passion for you, but also has passion for other things. And for some of you in those third party situations, there's another person involved. And so they haven't really ended that. And there may still have passion for them too. Maybe not as much as they do for you, but it's here, right? We have a knight of candles and we have a king of candles. Maybe they're the king of wands with you, but the knight of candles, knight of wands energy with someone else, they still play around with them, flirt with them, that type of energy. So I feel like that, that you will reconcile with your person. I do believe that there will be a flame lit, which means a message, which means a phone call, something that reignites what you guys have, right? Um, and so I do feel like it's not over. The world came through first and then all of these other messages came through. So the world is confirming that you are in no communication at this time with your person. There is a separation. But if you um, are familiar with the movie Hocus Pocus, when I'm trying to think of his name <laughs> and I don't know why I want to say Ichabod because it wasn't, but you know, it was like an old fashioned name. But anyway, he was reunited with his sister. So I do feel like there will be a reconciliation and you will reunite with your person after sort of, you know, this trial of events happens kind of similarly to how it happened between them in the movie when they eventually reconciled, right? It was wonderful to see each other again, but they had gone through a lot before that happened. So I do feel like you and your person will reconcile. That flame is still lit. You guys still have something together. It's just that right now it's on pause. What's the world saying? Thank you. It's the queen of wands. I pick up the energy of a lot of passion between you two. So even when you're not communicating, you feel them, they feel you. They could, you know, definitely be tempted to reach out to you because they, they feel like some sort of need to physically connect with you. And of course, a sexual way. So that feels very strong because you guys are very attracted to each other still. Um, and I do feel like you will reignite this flame or the flame will burn brighter at some point. But right now it's, it's, it's like a cooling off period for you and the person you're connected to. I feel like a reconciliation is also coming through for you guys because the Queen of Wands is like that King of Candles taking action. The Queen of Wands, sure, can be a seductress or wait for someone to, you know, enter her lair. But I also feel like there is initiative on your part. A lot of you are getting restless. A lot of you feel the need to right now focus on yourself and do what you need to do for you, do what's best for you and your situation, which may be to keep the, the, the no communication going for a while. But at some point you are going to get restless. At some point you are going to get tempted. And I do feel the energy that that is going to lead you and this person back to each other. It actually might be you guys that initiate some sort of reconciliation first. The nine of wands, not right now. <laughs> um, it's coming through that while you have the willpower to make this work with them, the nine of wands is also saying that you're, you're pretty uh clear on your defenses you feel as if this person wronged you in some way and you're waiting for them to do the right thing 
um, or you're not waiting around, but you definitely feel like you're giving them the opportunity to be mature and and come to you correctly, right? The nine of wands is, is saying that you're pretty defensive about how you were treated. And you feel as if this person is the one that needs to make it right. Sure, you can break that silence. Sure, you can uh, extend that olive branch. But a lot of you don't feel like that's the fair thing to do. So you're allowing this, this no communication and separation to go on because you feel as if this person is the one that needs to take action. And so you have them blocked for some of them or energetically, you're trying to tune them out and tune out what what's going on between you so that you can focus on other things. But like I said, there's a, a very intense passion um, between you and this person. And even if the desire to physically connect is what overshadows, like maybe like talking things out, I think that that's what's going to happen. You guys are going to yearn for each other and there's going to be an urge to reach out um, from you eventually, but possibly from your person first. We do have a queen of wands and king of wands here. But right now, you're keeping it cute. You're the high priestess. I'm not going to say anything. I'm very upset. I'm frustrated, but I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to trust what my intuition is saying, which is that it's important for me to allow the other person to take that initiative for them to use their willpower to come towards me if that is how this is supposed to happen. So a lot of you guys are trusting a process right now. Um, the 10 of potions is the 10 of cups. You have a lot of memories, good memories with this person. You guys were very happy together. You had some amazing experiences with the Ten of Potions. I feel like this is someone who you guys maybe discuss marriage with, discuss building with, maybe even living together at some point if you haven't already gone there. So I just feel like there's some history here between you. Some of you are going to reconcile with a water or fire sign X, like y'all were officially together. And this is the person you're inquiring about. They are your ex. But I do feel a reconciliation from this person. They're a Cancer or a Leo. Maybe a Pisces. Princess of Pentacles. You do feel like you're going to get an offer. Um, I feel like you will reconcile with this person. The energy is very strong for it. You guys were happy together. You experienced a lot of good times that can't be swept under the rug. Yeah, you know, I feel like they messed up. They, they made you feel second best. For some of you, they made you feel like you were in competition with another. For others of you, for some of you, they they had situations going on in their life where they were not very clear about how much it would block your connection. And so there, it, there feels to be some sort of reconciliation in the form of an offer coming in. Let's see what this Princess of Pentacles is about. Why is the Princess of Pentacles here? Yeah, there's an offer. There's a reconciliation. The queen of pentacles is mature. She wants peace. She wants harmony, you know, with everybody she's connected to. She's actually someone who represents a, a maternal matriarchal type figure. And so I want everyone to get along. I definitely feel like your relationship has the it has the, the foundation, like what you, the, the basics of what you need to reconcile. Everybody's kind of quiet right now, but they're thinking. You're thinking about things. Your person's thinking about things. There's a really thoughtful energy with these pentacles where, okay, the next time I reconnect with group one, um, from your person's perspective, they're like, I can't go with empty hands. I have to make a, a solid offer. I have to say something important. I have to say something group one needs to hear. And you're kind of from the perspective of, I don't want to be bitter. I don't want to be angry. I want to be receptive if they're willing to, you know, apologize. I want to be able to take it all in and not just go, no, you can't come back into my life because that's not realistic. You both still care for one another. And so I do feel like there's an offer, some sort of peace offering. I think that's what I'm picking up too. An offering of peace that feels like it's coming through from your person. I think both of you have this desire. I don't pick up a strong stubbornness on either of your parts, which is telling me this queen of pentacles energy is probably the strongest. It's what's prevailing. Practically, Right now, at this place in our life, it may not be the best thing for us to reconnect, but we are creating 
environments in each of our individual lives so that we feel safer connecting to each other, more peaceful connecting to each other. So there's some rational rationalizing going on right now with both of you individually, because I don't think you're going to be able to stay away from each other for too long with the six of cups here. You just want to make sure that when you reconnect, and I think this is both of you group one, you want to make sure that when you reconnect, it's not just about physical right? Because that's easy for both of you. You're two attractive people who have this incredible physical chemistry. However, there are some really important issues that took place that feels like this person left you high and dry. And so they have the possibility of doing that again if you don't stay firm with these boundaries. And that is something I feel like you already know. So the King of Candles, I think the King of Candles can definitely have, <laughs> you know, the want to reconcile. This This person wants attention. This person wants their, their passion partner back. This is not someone who um, is just easily able to get rid of a person or a connection, maybe in the reverse, right? Where they're seeking validation from multiple people. I think your person really just wants your attention. Unfortunately, I do feel like they got caught up in some sort of karmic union. What is this King of Candles saying for will you reconcile? They're trying to get their act together, like their behavior. Sometimes I pick up, oh, you know, they're working on themselves and they're going to work and they're making money. This person needs an attitude adjustment. This person needs to grow up. <laughs> this is someone who plays too much. And so with the eight of pentacles, while the, a part of their work that they're getting their act together and in, involves could be about, you know, I need to just focus on work. I need to stay out of trouble. This also feels like putting in the effort to mature, putting in the effort to make sure they have something to offer. This person definitely doesn't want to show up empty handed. What's this eight of wands? I'll take it. It's the nine of swords. I think a reconciliation would have already happened by now if they weren't so afraid that you weren't going to be in this energy right? It's something about the tables turning and you having the power and the upper hand right now that's created a really vulnerable space for your person. I feel like they do care for you a lot. I feel like they've also been guilty of not expressing to you exactly how they feel. So you kind of don't know. So they want to come in with these good intentions. This, this to me speaks to their intentions with the King of Cups. They want to come in with these good intentions, but they're like kind of the last time that we connected or the last time that I left group one, I was doing something shady. I was doing something immature. I was, you know, not being very supportive. I was not being very loving. And so I do feel like as much as they are trying to make sure they come back with something to offer, something to, to give you hope that it's going to work this time, there's a fear that you may sort of go, no, I'm not interested in that, or you're done. I'm done with you for good, right? They, they're they very sensitive right now. If you, if you haven't uh, picked up on it in your high priestess state, they're very sensitive and they are an anxious over you in this connection right now in this state of separation. So they could feel like they deserve it with, with bad karma showing up here. What happened between you was that I feel like maybe you guys were clearing a karmic cycle. Let's say, a while ago, years ago, you were dealing with somebody who you knew was in a relationship. It, it, this is just an example because there are tons of karmic situations that could play out. But because you stayed in that connection for however long, knowing, right, there, there was something similar that had to happen in this situation, but you were in the position of the person, you know, being I guess, lie to and deceive this time. Let's say another karmic situation is that you, um, just an example, let's say you hurt someone or broke up with someone and didn't give them an explanation. So uh, sometimes there are those, those energies there. Right. Um, and so I feel like there's something about this person now experiencing a little bit of the karma that they, they, brought into your connection and possibly that they had going on with another connection. There was just a lot of drama and a lot of mess. And so there's a fear that as you get yourself together and focus on what's best for you, that doesn't include them. So you're learning from karma or you have, 
Whereas they're in the midst, in the thick of learning from it and trying to figure out their way out from it. Okay. So the chariot, literally trying to figure their way out, but they're determined, right? This person feels like they're determined to be in your life with the chariot. Because we go right into that seven of candles, that seven of wands energy, standing up for what you want, believing in something. And there's the king of cups again. Cancer, strongly here. Pisces, strongly here. The knight of cups. I think your person is really starting to face and accept the fact that they love you a lot more than they thought they did for some of them and that they have always loved you. They just were really bad at expressing it. So there is some work some good work happening in this separation where it feels like the reason why there's a reconciliation possible because for one, you have somebody who means well. Their intentions are good now, even if there weren't two, three months ago. Their intentions now are to make things right with you, to understand, to listen. Like I feel your person really going, um, I didn't treat group one right. And so the next time, you know, we talk, I'm going to listen more. I'm going to show more compassion. I'm going to show more understanding because that's what a King of Cups does. And then to have the Knight of Cups here, it really anchors the fact that this person is still in their feelings about you. There's nothing cruel, mean, ugly coming through, right? As far as a reconciliation, they're actually pretty open to it. They're actually pretty excited about the prospect of it with the chariot here. So um, let's see why the King of Cups shows up. Okay, the Hanged Woman. More water, energy, Pisces here. Yeah, I think. <laughs> and so when I was picking up that you guys may be the one like reaching out to them, it's not because they don't want to reach out to you. It's actually because they're in a space now where they feel like I've done enough damage I haven't really made the right decisions and the right moves. And so if group one wants to, wants me to be in their life, I'll just take their cue, right? I'll just see if they give me that signal. So I do feel the receptiveness of this King of Cups. There's a desire, again, a strong desire to want to take action now, right? Group one, go with me somewhere. Let's, you know, work it out on the road or let's talk about it when we meet, meet up. But there is that side of them that's like, that's not practical. That's not realistic. I've done piss group one off. Um, I've done some things that are hurtful. And so just pretending like things never happened, they, they know that's not going to work. And so the hanged woman with that king, uh, king of cups is confirming the thoughtfulness of their actions right now, even in separation, even in no communication, they are thinking of you. They are thinking of a way back to you. They don't want to do anything irrational. They don't want to do anything else stupid because I feel like where they left you out in the cold, right? That's what that rejection is saying. You wanted their support, their love. You wanted them to claim you. You wanted them to be sure about you. And it feels like they didn't do that. And instead of explaining something or being clear about it, they actually just kind of like stopped talking to you. They actually just didn't call you back. So now they're in the position of waiting to see how this should play out. I think, again, because the kings are here, it is confirmation that they don't want to do anything stupid anymore. All right. They're mastering their feelings. They're mastering their thought process. So any action that they take is going to be well thought through. And it's not just going to be about physical. It's going to be about I need to listen more to group one. I want to reconcile because I want this person in my life and I haven't been showing group one how important they are to me. So the seven of candles, you know, I, I pick up two people who really care for each other when when it comes to you guys. I pick up two people who it doesn't matter how long you separate or don't talk. Look at the spider webs, webs forming around the candelabra. It's still there. The flame is still there. The spark is still there. It doesn't matter how much you guys are even angry at each other. There's always going to be something between you that both of you feel is worth revisiting if you separate. What's the seven of candles? I'll take it. Perfect. It's two. And they fell. Now I don't want to take it. All right. I'm going to do it again because I don't like that. <laughs> All right. Let's see. If they want to come out again, group one, they will. Thank you. Four of swords. 
they're just taking a break from the chaos right now. There's going to be a reconciliation. They just don't want to fight. They don't want to have drama with you. They hate the conflict. So yeah, this is a cooling off period for both of you. And it actually feels like both of you are doing what needs to be done in this cooling off period. You in a strong feminine or even masculine, it's because we got queens and kings here. So everybody's in their divine energy right now, at, at least right now, right? Everybody's behaving like adults. Everybody's doing the respectful, responsible things. Everybody's doing the work individually that feels like needs to happen if you're going to have a break, right? It's not just a break where it's like, oh, I'm not dealing with group one. Let me go play around with other people. I That's definitely not the energy I'm getting from your person. Your person, you actually feel like you're the only person on their mind right now. You're the only person they can think of, but they're thinking of ways to communicate, to reach you, to understand you, to compromise with you. The princess of wands is confirmation that I actually feel like they've probably wrote a couple of messages already and deleted them, right? They didn't go through, but the, the thought is there. The intentions, okay, are there. What is the four of swords? It's the moon. Yeah, I mean, I think they want to say the right thing. They're being, they're being very particular right now about saying the right. This is reminding me, I did a, um, a reading for Patreon. Uh, what are their regrets? And so that, you know, I guess this kind of feels like it ties into it when somebody feels like they've messed up really, 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 really bad. It's kind of like a bad kid in timeout. They're not sure, like, if, should they ask you for something? Like, it's kind of like that. And so it's kind of like they know they're in timeout. They would have, again, rushed in a long time ago. They would have rushed in days ago, weeks ago, months ago. But there's more thought. There's more deep thought being put into how this happens the next time they do come into your life. I'm not seeing where they're like, oh, we're done. That's it. I'm just, that's it. This person knows you're going to, they're going to have another chance with you. They seem to be sure of it. And so they're just being very thoughtful about how they handle you the next time around. Lots of Pisces energy here. Lots of divine kings and queens here. Let's see why the sun is here. I feel like this person wants to reach out to you right now. I feel the sun being an energy of, I want to reveal my process and what I'm going through at this time. The three of cups is the message of reconciliation, is the message of reuniting. So if there are any regrets on their end, they're not just trying to reunite. Um, I just need to get this person back to fill my needs. This is about, I need to reunite with group one because I really need to make it clear they mean something to me. Um, the sun is, I feel like, there's a possibility that, um, let's see, what's the sun? The Ace of Wands. Okay. Yeah, I think you guys are going to hear from them. In the extended, I am going to take a look because I was picking up kind of Valentine's messages in that Three of Cups with the sun. And so in the extended, I'm going to take a look and see if you're going to reconcile by Valentine's Day. I'm also going to see what that reconciliation could look like, the circumstances, how it's going to happen, all right? Um, what they're going to say, what they're going to do. This is the idea forming right here, okay? They've had many ideas, many sort of messages they they planned out um, that they were going to send that they didn't. There's another one, a big idea, a big plan here. And so in the extended, I'll take a closer look at that um, to see if, the, if you guys are going to reconcile by Valentine's Day and um, how that could play out. I'm also going to take a look at what they think you feel about reconciling because sometimes it's in an energy of I want to reach out to this person, but they probably don't want to hear from me. And that's the whole, like, that's your whole reading. That's what it feels like. They've been wanting to do it. They've been wanting to say something, do something, but they feel like you don't want to hear it. So I'll get their actual feelings and thoughts on that. I'll also make sure I grab some messages in their words. I, I kind of like how that's been working out in the extended, kind of get their words on why they haven't reconciled yet or reached out to you yet, which can clear up some things that are happening in this message. What's the Ace of Wands with the Sun? The Hermit. 
Yeah. So they're choosing not to say anything. They're choosing to be alone. I do feel like they're alone. Eight of Cups. This does not feel like somebody who's run to the arms of another just because y'all are separated and not talking. This is somebody who really is taking it seriously, sitting with themselves, thinking processing everything and trying to find, I think there's an emotional process happening because there's a ton of water in this reading. Your person is very sensitive, very emotional at this time. And like I said, very receptive, right? Sometimes emotional with the cups can come through as kind of moody and stay out of my way, right? I don't want to hear from you, but theirs feels a little opposite. It feels like, yeah, they're sensitive, yeah, they're kind of irritated and frustrated about how things are, but they're spending this time alone. They're really doing some heavy emotional work to make sure that when they do have this moment with you, because they feel like they're contemplating it and they're anticipating it, when they do have this moment, they don't ruin it. They don't do something to screw it up. So I'm going to head to the extended guys where I will take a look at if you will reconnect by Valentine's Day, how that reconnection or reconciliation will play out. I'll also get some words from your person to see why they haven't reconciled with you as of right now. And I'll also take a look at what they think you feel about reconciliation. So if they were getting a reading, um, does group one want to reconcile with you? What would come through? All right. So that is what I have for you, group one. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I do appreciate you. I am headed to the extended. But first, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. If you're interested in a personal reading, check out the details in the description box. And I will talk to you soon. Hi, group two. It is the Sun Sage, and thank you so much for tuning in to another pick a card reading. I do appreciate you. So this is for those of you in separation right now from your lover, no communication. I am taking a look at will you reconcile with them? Okay. Um, I want to see what happened first. So that'll be the first energy I get what happened between you. And if there's any coming back from that, any sort of reconciliation. So let's see what energies come through between you and your person. And if there is a chance of reconciliation coming in, you have selected the amethyst. Right. And you have the runic tarot. So first, I want to see what happened between you and your person for a little context. Okay. So show me what happened between group two and their person. Why is there a separation in the first place? What happened between them? All right. Show me what happened. Thank you. Mm. Union. So you were together. You were making things official in the process of it. You were doing more together, spending time together. And then suddenly this parted ways. What happened here? What happened? Confirming that you are in separation feels real. Um, for some, yeah, because comeback is here. So you are in separation from your person at this time. Both of you are upset about it. Okay. That's a strong feeling coming through. It's not like one person is like, I'm doing my thing. Um, both of you are upset about this and it feels like you parted ways unexpectedly. I have feels real. So I kind of picked up this. I don't know something about this separation. It feels like it's over. It feels real, like it's done. But I do pick up that what you have with this person felt real to both of you. It was something that neither of you questioned, right? But I do feel like something happened. Let's go deeper to see what that could be. But something happened in that part ways because y'all were fine until you weren't. What happened? Fear. Your person got cold feet. It got too real and they got cold feet and they started moving funny, acting different. Um, you guys were starting to get suspicious of them. There's energies here that they started maybe even making up excuses. I have trust issues. I don't know if I can commit. They were already in a committed space with you anyway. They were loving it. Um, and I think they made up some little bogus excuse about, um, you know, I don't think it's the right time or something, but they were really afraid. Maybe for some of you, there was a fear that you would find something out, but that's not the strongest energy. The strongest energy is this. You were very close or already committed and they were starting to, to feel it, live it, and then they got cold feet. Okay. So 
Um, let's get some information. Something happened with the social media here. Maybe you saw something in their phone where you did question their loyalty. You could have seen something online or again, some of them made an excuse. I saw online, you said hi to someone and that made me kind of question, you know, you, group two. So let's see what comes through. Will group two reconcile with this person they are in separation with and no communication? Will they reconcile with this person? The wheel of fortune. It's up in the air. It's possible. Let's see. Will you reconcile with your person? Okay, I have two. Queen of Cups and the Star. All right. Will group two reconcile with their person? Knight of Pentacles. Some of you um have already been like talking to them. You saw them recently or you're seeing them soon. They're coming to you. The sun. Yeah, there's there's good news, right? The star, the sun. I'm I'm getting it. You guys have already started like communicating again. King of Swords, the talks are about to start, like the real conversation. I think that's the only thing that may show up as missing with the Two of Swords, like having a real serious conversation about what went down between you. But it looks like some steps have been made. Um, the, the foundation is being laid for you guys to have a healing conversation and reconciliation with one another. There's been some good energies between you. Both of you are positive about this. I think this connection feels so real to you both. It's like, we can't let nothing stupid like come in between us. I picked that up from both of you. So will you reconcile? There's a ton of yes here. <laughs> All right, let's just get, get that out the way. There's a ton of yes, but there's a reason here why it hasn't happened on the scale that you may have wanted it to yet. Like this is that type of energy where your person goes, hey, I was just calling to tell you happy new year. You know, I'm thinking about you. And then you say, oh my God, happy new year. When are you coming into town? And then they don't respond, right? So there's 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 blockages. There's still communication failures. But I feel like there's been a, a nice energy that, okay, there's, there's still some hope here. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here for group two? Will they reconcile with their person? If it's up in the air, I'll show you what this is in a second. But if it's up in the air, I think it's because they're away or they're like traveling or somebody's traveling or on the move. So that sit down that needs to happen, that quality time that needs to happen, that's what's up in the air. The, reconcil the reconciliation feels like it, it's going to happen. It just feels like both of you are literally like not in the same area, <laughs> location or something. So six of pentacles. Yes. I feel like fate is giving you and your person another chance. That's what this feels like to me. You will have another chance, right? And I do feel like that six of pentacles is saying you both have something important to say to each other. You both have something to offer. You both have something that you want to change about this connection that you feel you're dealing with a partner receptive enough to take that in and not get offended. What is the six of pentacles? <laughs> well since i saw it and i believe it fits it is temperance yes you guys are not in a bad horrible space not as bad and horrible as you could be the star is here confirming that there's a lot of love between you and this person and both of you feel like you were fated to be together so if that story is still unfinished there's a desire for you both to complete that together. Um, again, both of you have something you need to say to one another. Both of you have 
actions you feel you need to take towards each other that can help heal this connection and help things get back on the right track. I strongly feel as if the, as if the process has already started, right? Somebody said hello. Somebody said, I miss you. There's been a little bit of communication, but again, it leads up to something big as far as breaking down those communication walls, but the feelings are there. Okay. The energy is there that this is somebody that strongly desires to get along with you with the temperance, but they are very careful about the timing of this. They don't want to make promises, right? We're going to talk about it. We're going to sit down and then they know they're not going to be back in town for another six months. So I do feel there's a, a carefulness about how this happens and when it happens, but the, look, the door is open. Queen of Cups. This is the most receptive energy for me, um, as a reader in the deck. So I do feel like both of you want to reconcile. It's not one sided at all. What's this Queen of Cups? You have Sagittarius here, Aquarius, Pisces. Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Scorpio, thank you, Seven of Wands. You guys are a little bit defensive right now, which is not, you know, uncommon. Group one had the same energy, Seven of Wands with a Queen, <laughs> right? Um, and so you guys have the same thing, a Seven of Wands with a Queen here. And so what I'm picking up is that a lot of people in the collective have been doing the important work on being okay without a partner, if that should be the case, right? Not being codependent. And so while you are very open to a loving, healthy relationship with your person, group two, you're also prepared. If it goes the other way and it doesn't work out, a lot of you are realistic, even as a queen of cups, right? You're not just using your heart to guide you in this moment. You're also using your logic. But some of you really do miss this person and feel as if you want to give them as much supportive, receptive energy as you can, right? When y'all sit down and talk or when y'all have your moment to say what you need to say, I think you're going to be very sure to get your point across. But right now you want them to feel comfortable enough to come to you in the first place. What's the seven of wands with the queen of cups? Why is that here? It's the eight of wands. I think y'all have already talked. I think there's been communication. I think they left you on red after something. It doesn't feel like malicious or intentional. It feels like maybe you asked a really important question or maybe you said something that hit them and they were like, I got to think about that, right? The hang woman is confirming that it's in limbo and it's in limbo, not because neither of you want to reconcile, but because the, the ball has already started back rolling and I feel like it's in their court right now, right? Um, this is you in that receptive energy. I really love you, but you did something hurtful and so I'm kind of iffy about trusting you, right? That queen of cups, seven of wands, but I would love to move forward if it's possible. So there's been some gentle communication, very stern, right? You're not in pushover energy. Even as that queen of cups, you're just letting them know, I love you. I care. I don't want it to be over. I don't want you to feel like I'm going to chew you out. However, you know, I also need an answer, I also need to know your intentions. And so the hang woman is saying that the line of communication hasn't been completely shut off between you and your person. It's just a matter of like them responding back to you. Some of you are quite literally waiting for them to respond to something you sent them a day or two ago, maybe even a week or two ago. And I feel like that's something that's been having them in deep thought. They're not blocked, but they are stuck in this moment, how to respond to you, what to say. The seven of wands is underneath this two of swords. So something about you being firm, um, being serious. It wasn't that it turned them off or turned them away. It was like, kind of like, damn, group two is right. I got to respond differently. So let's get into the star because I look at this as a big chance of healing coming in. 
we are in Aquarius season. <laughs> so yeah, at the time of this reading, we are in Aquarius season. So there's a big chance that a lot of you have reconciliation coming in any day now. One of the things I go into in the extended is will you re reconcile by Valentine's Day? So uh, Valentine's Day is Aquarius season. So we'll see what comes through for your person in this connection. But the star is a good sign that the ball has already started rolling and there's some good energy coming from both of you to heal and to protect this relationship moving forward. I feel like your person um, energetically is receptive, even if um, verbally they haven't really been able to yeah, say all the things. They're, they may still be in this page energy, princess of pentacles here, P uh, page of pentacles energy. You're going to get a gift during Aquarius season. We'll see if it comes through by Valentine's Day, but you are going to get a gift pertaining to this relationship. What is this Princess of Pentacles about? There is a blessing. It's, it's going to be bigger than a reconciliation. Some of you may get that offer, like you come back together and there's, I'm, I'm ready to commit I'm ready to invest. Let's move in together. I want you to meet my family. I want you to meet my kids. Something. Nine of Wands. I feel like the energy comes through because there's the Five of Swords. So look, I feel like you will reconcile with this person. I also feel like you both have to be very careful of listening to outside opinions um, this is that type of thing where maybe keeping the reconciliation. Yeah, I'm going to hook up with my person. We're going to meet up and you got a friend or a sibling and they're like, I don't think that's a good idea. Um, just be careful of that. You're very sensitive to others feelings and thoughts about your situation during this time. So it's, it's easy. It's nothing for your best friend to be like, are you sure you want to meet that person? You should be cursing them out right now. And for you to take that on because you are that queen of cups, very receptive. So a reconciliation may fall through if five of swords, you aren't listening to your own inner voice and you allow outside swords, thoughts, opinions, words to, to, to obstruct you from moving towards your person um, as they come towards you, because they're coming towards you to reconcile um, on solid ground. But again, be careful of the thoughts and opinions of others consuming what you should do for yourself, consuming you. Okay, I hope I said that right. <laughs> I don't think I did, but be careful of being persuaded to do something you don't feel in your heart is the right thing to do. You seem, group two, to have found a great balance between loving someone but not being dependent on them, between wanting to be with this person but not banking on it, right? Should it not work out? So I feel like the Knight of Pentacles is your person being very well-meaning and well-intentioned, coming in in a mature way, wanting to reconcile with you, even an apology, I feel. And I, I just strongly feel like this is kind of like a friend don't accept that apology. Don't don't accept that. Okay. What's this Knight of Pentacles about? Somebody's already been in your head. Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Yeah, there's an apology from your person coming in. Knight of Cups, that's Pisces season. Some of you, um, while Aquarius season will be significant, some sort of gift is happening with this relationship. Pisces season may be, may be when it really like goes down for you and this person in a good way. Um, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. This feels like good intentions. It does feel like somebody who's moving a little slow. And that's another thing I go into in the extent it was taking so long for you to reconcile, right, with me. Why are you holding out? What's going on? Um, and so I think that what's happening is your person may feel you need more time. Let's see. 
This is Seven of Pentacles with this Knight. The Queen of Wands. Oh, they're going to be complimenting you, apologizing to you. This person is going to really be making you feel good. Um, I think they're going to be saying things that make you very happy. I think they're going to be making promises, group two, that make you very happy. Ten of Cups. I not only feel like you reconcile, but something feels like they commit to you. They pour into you. They go, you are, I should have given this all to you. These pentacles, this, this, uh, this offer all along. You have Aries, Sagittarius, Leo here. Let's see why the sun shows up for will you reconcile. That feels like good news. That feels like a passionate beginning. An offer you accept. An apology you accept. Yes, the Empress. I like it because the Ten of Cups is here again, <laughs> even after it shuffled. So I do feel like there's a reconciliation with your person. And some of you, this reconciliation may lead to you being intimate with one another and there being some sort of development months down the line. But I will say that this turns into, you know what? Yours is kind of opposite from group one. Your reconciliation actually does feel like it happens more on a physical level first and then y'all have a talk. I feel like being together again is overwhelming for you both and you can't control yourselves. You just have to be with each other intimately. Um, for those of you that, you know, you know your situation, but there's a lot of strong feminine, feminine energy here that feels to be what's calling your person, their masculine energy. There's a lot about balance in your reading. There's a lot about they were overwhelmingly to something too harsh, too cold, too distant. You were overwhelmingly soft and maybe too, too easy with them. And now there's a healthy balance coming in that feels like it leads to a harmonious, intimate reunion. What's this Empress? I'm getting they feed you. Like that could be the offer too. What's your favorite food? Let's go get that. Let's... That's how they reconcile. They don't really, like they apologize with food or something. The queen of pentacles. Yeah, I, I really do pick up that you're going to get your way. Um, So for those of you that strongly want a reconciliation, it's coming through that this is a big possibility. Your person really wants to be in your life. They know your value. Okay, that doesn't seem to be in question at this moment. It feels like this person feels like they're missing a big energy in their life. You are the sun. You are the empress. You are coming through as a part of their life that they've been moving too slow towards and that they have to now, you know, put some more energy into. They have to invest. So they're going to invest. Their reconciliation is not just about words. Their reconciliation is about showing you, demonstrating group two, you are my queen, my empress, my king, my emperor. You are that to me. You are the light of my life or something, you know, kind of corny, but definitely feeling like it's well-intentioned. They're not trying to play you in this energy. They, they just want to get along. And what I was telling um group one when they got the queen of pentacles, this is somebody who kind of matriarchal, wanting everybody they love to be harmonious. There's a maturity in this energy and that feels like it's coming from your person because they are receptive too now. That's what the balance is. They took away a lot of that. I'm too, I don't want to be all soft and, you know, lovey-dovey. I don't feel like they care about that anymore. So that's how your reconciliation kind of, um, that's what it feels like is motivating their reconciliation with you. They're take, they've taken on a softer energy. Let's see where the King of Swords shows up. That feels like a, a conversation. What is this about? This King of Swords. The star. 
Aquarius season is significant. I am going to look in the extended to see if this happens by Valentine's Day. But look, for a lot of you, I wouldn't even trip if there's no reconciliation by that time because there's some big spiritual developments happening with your relationship. Communication is going to get better. Romance is going to get, I feel, a lot better. And I feel like your person is overall accepting that you are meant to be together. If they haven't already accepted it, right? They can't be without you. What's the star? The moon. Aquarius and Pisces season are, are definitely in your reading. So it's happening, I feel, in the next couple of weeks. There is a return. We had come back. Okay. Um, I don't feel like an intense stubbornness where it's like you want them to show up and they want you to come to them and that type of thing. But judgment is saying there's something about maybe the, the physical distance, something about the circumstances in both of your lives right now. It's been very difficult to like, this is even kind of like um, you guys make a plan to meet up and then somebody can't. You guys said, okay, let's, let's meet up this day, this time. And then it, it doesn't work out. So judgment is saying there's been some maneuvering on the behalf of this connection to make sure that when you do connect, it is the right time, the right place, the right moment. It gets the right result. Okay. For some of you, that result could lead to children, a child. For others of you, that result leads to conversations about next level, moving in together, that type of thing. This isn't your standard. Let's reconcile. Let's apologize and be friends again. This is about movement happening unknown, unseen movement in the future for you and this person that feels like it leads you to, again, what you want, exactly what you want, your desired result here. Even though a lot of you have started to tone down a little bit on, um, this is how I want it to work out. A lot of you are surrendering. You've released that idea. You're going with the flow. I do feel like it's coming in that the unknown is going to reveal some really strong, spiritual, loving developments in your connection that lead to a reconciliation. So in the extended, I am going to take a look at what will you reconcile by Valentine's Day? Um, I'll also take a look at what's been holding the, the, the reconciliation back. Like what your person would say has stopped them from reconciling up until, you know, this point. I'm also going to take a look at what they think you feel about reconciliation. So if you, if they were getting a reading and they wanted to get a deeper insight, why is group two not reconciling with me? I want to see what comes through. For what they believe you're, you haven't reached out to them or tried yet, um, a little bit harder. Cause I do feel some effort from both of you, but we'll go into it. And again, I'm going to grab some messages from, um, your person to see what's been holding them back from reconciling. Okay. So I am going to head to the extended group too, but thank you all so much for tuning in. I do appreciate you. Um, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading, check out those details in the description box and I am headed to the extended right now. Hi, group three. It is the Sun Sage and thank you guys so much for tuning in to your next pick a card reading. This will be for those of you that are in separation or no communication from your person. Um, this is will we reconcile. So this is where I take a look at the energies in your connection to see if there's a chance of reconciliation um, and, and what that looks like. All right. In this reading, I am actually going to take a look at what happened between you. Right. So I can get some context. You, you know, to see why or why not a reconciliation is possible. So I'll see what happened between you, but we're going to see, is there a chance of reconciliation for you and the person you are thinking of, um, in this reading? So you guys have selected the clear quartz. All right. That is what you were drawn to. All right. And you have the shadow scapes tarot. So let's see what happened. All right, I just need a few cards, a few things to pick up on what went down between you. So let's see why you are in separation and no communication at this time. What happened between you and this person? I saw Runner Chaser. Okay, so that's a very common dynamic in the collective right now. Let's see what comes through. Tough love. 
Okay, so some of you are staying away from this person, not because you want to, but because you feel is necessary. It's not that they haven't pursued you, called you, talked to you, messaged you. It's just that you aren't, you aren't satisfied with what they're offering. And so you felt the need to distance yourself somewhat. You're showing some tough love here. Let's see what else comes through. Butterflies. Okay. So again, that does, you guys care about them. You love them. You want them. This is the person that makes you feel good inside, but they also have a way of making you feel like they need better boundaries when it comes to you or you need better boundaries with them. So let's see what else we got. Lies or protection. You felt like your person was lying to you. And I also have marriage material. Some of you are like, I need, we need to get this together <laughs> before we take this any further. I actually feel like some of you made the call. Um, let's end this or let's separate for a while. Or maybe you just stopped talking to them, calling them, reaching out, whatever. Um, it feels like the call was made by you. You don't feel like you hate this person or like you don't want to reconcile with them, but they put a lot on you expecting you to deal with certain things that were just out, oh, crossing your boundaries. And I do feel the energy of you questioning whether they were lying to you to protect you or are they lying to like, like truly deceit? Like what is going on? You felt like they were hiding something. Let me see what else comes through for what happened between you. Right as you were starting to like maybe claim them, talk to your friends about them. I feel like a lie was discovered or something was going on with them. Gifts. All right. For what happened between you. For someone here, they told you they could, they couldn't see you on your birthday or something like that. And they gave you a reason why that you just didn't believe. Freedom. This person doesn't like to play by the rules. And a lot of you have been very patient with them, but felt like it was time to start putting your foot down. So I do pick up that you have a blessing in this person or you feel like this person is a blessing and they feel like you are one. But they weren't offering enough for you to stick it out right now, not in this energy. And I do feel like what happened between you, yeah, it just feels like they weren't offering you enough. And they actually feel like they may have had options, okay? They may have still been talking to someone or dealing with somebody. And some of you may still not have like a sure answer about that. But what comes through is the question, right? Something happened or something you saw or something you felt in your gut felt like maybe I'm not the only one. So because they didn't make you feel secure and certain enough in this connection, a lot of you sort of just were like, okay, tough love. I got to let it go at least for right now. So let's see what does the energy look like for whether you will reconcile with this person or not. Um, will you reconcile with your person? Group three, what is coming through? Will you reconcile with the person you are in separation with and no communication? We have the king of wands. Will you reconcile with this person? Wow, the four of swords in the reverse. And I went through all of these decks and thought I turned everything over, but I'll take it. Four of swords in the reverse. Okay, six of swords in the reverse. Six and four, that ten of swords. It's not over. I think a reconciliation is coming. Please. Two of pentacles in the reverse. I'm just going to leave it. I was about to go through and kind of, I thought I turned everything up right. Okay, there we go. Seven of cups. What else do we have? Will you reconcile with this person? All right, the magician. And then we have the fool. I think there was another person involved and they thought you were stupid and wouldn't figure it out. Even if they didn't want that other person, didn't love that other person, they were playing too much, okay? Playing the field, playing with feelings, playing with, you know, people's emotions here. They're a magician. They're a king of wands. They look good, okay? So I feel like a reconciliation is something that you desire just off the fact that y'all have this chemistry alone, right? You miss them. 
You miss certain parts about them. You miss certain ways they're making you feel. Okay. I get that. Um, but I do feel like a new beginning happens in a sense. It happens because this person makes a choice to start changing their behavior and become a new person, a different person. You know, I think a lot of you were already like clear that that's what needed to happen. But, you know, for those of you that feel like you're, I just want to call them, right? I just want to like break this silence. I just want to get back with them. Just be very mindful that if it happens before it's supposed to, You'll get your instant gratification. You'll get your moment, especially with somebody like this, but they'll go back to the games. And so this person definitely feels like a reconciliation and changed behavior is possible. You got marriage material here. And then underneath that is soul snatcher. So I feel the physical chemistry between you and you really want this person. Some of you, you left them alone because they weren't taking you out enough. You know, you're like a marriage material and you don't plan anything. You don't do anything special with me. I feel like somebody's person missed a birthday or something special to you because they just don't take it serious. And so as long as you guys have this passion for them and this physical, just undeniable chemistry for them, there's always an opportunity to call them, to get back with them. You can have them if you want them type energy, right? But will they be changed enough, transformed enough, mature enough to keep you, to sustain this relationship? And so that's what feels like is a little up in the air. It's that person that you make up to break up with and the, the makeups are always so sweet, so nice. But two weeks later, you're back to, I can't stand you. You get on my nerves. So that's the type of character you're dealing with here. This person is very attractive and sexy. I just feel the need to note their physical. Their tattoos are incredibly appealing. Um, what's the king of wands? The nine of wands. Strengthen your defenses, group three. <laughs> I just feel like this is a charmer. This is someone who knows how to please you, who knows the right places to touch you, who knows how to kiss you, who knows how to be with you physically, but they haven't taken that same time, concern, and care to be with you intellectually and on a serious relationship level, right? So I do feel like you guys have to kind of like try to rid yourselves of the urge to use the physical to reconcile with them because that's always a thing here with, with with you you could have them if you wanted them but something even feels like that way won't work that way won't work anymore or it won't work this time or something right so let's see why the nine of wands is here but something is saying strengthen your defenses you know Get your hormones in check because this person may not even be in no communication from you. They may call you, text you every once in a while. They may say something cute, something sweet, but it's coming from a princess, a page. It's coming from someone who hasn't um, maturely articulated what they want out of this relationship in a way that satisfies you. So let's see what the nine of wands shows up with the king. Will you reconcile with this person? Group three. Seven of wands. You're not ready. I'm not saying that to tell you. I just feel like you're not. I feel like you know that they're sexy. You know that they're irresistible at times, but you're resisting them. Some of you are like receiving this message now. You're like, yeah, I cannot do that again, right? I cannot go back to that. They got to be saying something way different. They got to be moving way different here. And I feel you because I get the energy that this person is somebody who knows how to disarm you with their good looks. They know how to disarm you with their sex appeal. And the next thing you know, you're back into a situation with them where it feels good and it's going somewhere, but they've done pissed you off. And now you're back on the defense. Now you're back trying to protect some boundaries that you let down in the first place to let them back in. So um, look, I feel like the reconciliation is strongly advised in your energy, in your group, that this it has to come from the other person. Um, I feel like you are doing great at sort of resisting maybe some, some chances they've had um, 
already. And maybe it wasn't like a real reconciliation. Maybe again, it was just about, I want to see you. I want to hook up with you. I want to do something with you, but not saying what you needed to hear. So the four of swords is there's a restlessness in your community. I'm, I'm sorry, in your relationship, because I feel like you guys want each other so bad. And it's very difficult to stay mad at them when it comes to you. It's very difficult to maintain your boundaries when it comes to them, because you really do want to be open. You really do want to surrender. But this is a person that you got to be careful about surrendering to because they have issues telling the truth. And I feel like the four swords in the reverse is saying that, you know, a reconciliation is something that happens when both people make a decision that it's better for us to come together and work on things and make some sacrifices in other areas of, of our life than to be separated. Your person doesn't feel like they've made the decision that this relationship is what's best for them at this point in their life. And so that always leaves you as an option. The King of Pentacles here with that Four of Swords in the reverse. There's a chance that some of you may even meet someone who kind of interferes with you reconciling with this person. That's an interesting energy that comes through. But I wouldn't be surprised if some of you here are like, well, I'm talking to someone else or I've met someone new. That feels very strong because the Fool is almost coming through now like, I'm not even thinking about a reconciliation. I mean, I'm curious, but I already have someone else in the picture. What's this King of Pentacles? You guys have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, strongly, strongly, strongly. You also have Taurus and Virgo, Capricorn here. Princess of Wands. I think <laughs> for, some, for some of you, excuse me, you... uh end up meeting someone or dealing with someone by the time this other person comes around. That's how long they may take. They may wait and think they have all the time in the world with you and there's somebody else in the picture. So this is almost a series of events playing out. You're defensive of them and how they come in to try to reach out to you or try to get back with you. It's not satisfactory enough. In the meantime, there's somebody else pursuing you and doing it in a mature way, a sexy way. Um, and that's developing and this person tries to return and there's almost as if there's some conflict as to why they can't have that as easy as they used to. They can't have that access to you. So something is saying that a reconciliation has to come from this person. But if it doesn't, somebody else looks like they're coming in here. <laughs> Cause this is not your person growing up and getting it together. This just isn't even their energy. Or I would say that, oh yeah, they look like they're getting it. This doesn't, this is a totally separate energy. While you guys are separated from this person, someone else comes through um, and you may not go all the way with them. You may not even end up with them, but this is somebody that's interesting enough to distract you away from this person. This, this, I feel King of Wands magician type energy until they figure out what it is that they want. So I do feel like your person returns to you. There is some sense that they come back into your life because they feel you moving on. They feel like there's someone else in the picture. And that, that feels like the case, you know. Scorpio is here. Will they reconcile with their person? Um, Six of Swords in the reverse. This feels like a no reconciliation for some reason to me. This is why I say be careful of like just letting this person come back <laughs> without any sort of like promises or change behavior. Because I'm almost picking up your person doesn't think they did anything wrong. They're just going to let enough time pass before they reach out or come back to you. And it's going to feel good, of course, but it doesn't feel like it's going to mean a lot to them. What's the six of swords in the reverse? Mm, the devil. Yeah, yeah, kind of saw that coming. <laughs> um, I feel like this person is very difficult to reconcile with because they don't want to change. They don't want to transform. They don't want to get better right now. They don't want to improve. They don't feel like they need to. Their ego has told them, man, you're good enough. Group three just complains too much. You're, you're fine. It's plenty of people out here who want you as you are. 
right? Um, and so the Six of Swords with that devil does feel like a no. It also feels like, again, being careful of those temptations. I felt it for you guys from the very beginning. Um, sex is not an apology, and it does not necessarily lead to reconciliation. And yet that is how your person plays the game. They know that you guys have this attraction to them. They feel like they picked up on that. You find them irresistible and you can't say no. So saying no seems like something very important. A lot of you are going to have to um, work on through the course of dealing with this person because they're not going to reconcile with you very easily. Their, their way of reconciliation is let's hook up. Let's physically just get this out the, out. Let's get this out the way. Let's not talk about anything. I don't want to do that. Let's not, you know, they know how to manipulate situations where it feels like, Oh my God, they're, they changed. <laughs> it's going to be great now. And then they, res they go back. Um, I don't even want to say they go back to their behavior. They never change from it. What's the devil? They, yeah, King of Cups. I was about to say they use sex to make people fall in love with them. Literally. Literally. <laughs> the Two of Cups. Um, you're dealing with somebody who, again, a reconciliation is very difficult because they look at a reconciliation as, well, didn't we hook up? That's, we made up, right? So what's, what else is there more to be done? They're a little bit immature and yet they show up as kings here. Mm. They're not in alignment. They are a divine counterpart for you. They're just not in alignment. This is not a good time for them to reconcile. Um, this is them playing games. Page of Wands. Prince. I'm sorry, Princess of Wands, Magician. That's them appearing more mature than they are, more ready than they are, but really manipulating your emotions through their physical touch, their physical appeal. And so one of the things that I am going to look at in the extended is, will you reconcile with this person by Valentine's Day? And how does that look? Like, what, what are they going to do? How is that reconciliation going to play out? And this person, it feels like for a lot of you, there's a chance that they may use that because they're a magician. They use every opportunity they get to their advantage. They may use Valentine's Day to make some love call. They may use that to be like, I was thinking about you. I really miss you. Come see me. I, I want to come see you. They know how to speak to your heart and to your like, your desires. But the stability is lacking in this one. Two of pentacles and the reverse. Let's see. I don't like that. You know, one of the other groups got two of pentacles in the reverse and I kind of liked it. This one feels a little different, but, you know, it's here with temperance. So maybe it is confirming that this person is not in alignment at this time. A reconciliation feels less possible in this energy just just temporarily because they're in a space of they're feeling themselves uh they could definitely be on a low vibrational kick right now maybe they've recently connected to some some friends that have a bad influence on them maybe there's energies that you know that somebody made them feel good about themselves their head is big they're like oh i'm the i'm the man i'm the woman i could get whoever i want i don't really need to be in a relationship right now um and so i do feel like they will get back into alignment you guys will reconnect with this person and reconcile you just have to be careful it's not on their terms because right now their terms are about this. I love a king of cups. I love me a good king of cups, but uh, with the devil, this is somebody who is seductive, who can manipulate the moment based on what they know you're looking for. They'll say something that sounds good to you. They'll promise something you've been wanting forever. And then they'll leave you. What's the temperance with the two of pentacles in the reverse? Knight of pentacles. I think your person's focus right now, um, I was going to say it needs to be, but that's actually where it feels to be. 
on, on, um, working on themselves. They're individuals, you know, right now, they're not really leaning on other people to validate them, which is good. I also feel like this is kind of coming through as selfish, like good selfish, but definitely selfish. I feel like your person doesn't want to reconcile. They would say something like, that's another thing I'm going to look at. Why was taking them so long to reconcile? I feel like what comes through is they would kind of say something like, um, I just, I, I just wanted to w work on me. I just wanted to focus on my job. I just wanted to focus on getting me together. Um, and that could be genuine, but it also feels like a way to avoid, <laughs> you know, prolong the commitment energy they could feel with you. The seven of cups, the chariot. Be careful of a reconciliation happening on their terms. I have no doubt that you could reconcile with this person. You can have them if you want them. But if it's on their terms, it's it's a game. It's playtime for them. The Seven of Cups with the Chariot means they still may lead you on. They still may take you out for a ride, right? Symbolically, somebody who is, again, good at saying what they need to do, to say and doing what they need to do to get what they need out of the moment. But the second they get what they want... um. Eight of Wands here. I think you guys will talk. I don't pick, I just don't pick up reconcile in this energy. I pick up talk. <laughs> I even pick up see each other for some of you. Um, but reconcile that, that word, I, mm, I'm not getting the strongest energy I could for that. <sighs> This almost kind of feels like you're dealing with somebody who, with this nine of pentacles here, that knight of pentacles, who convinces you to come back to them. And then they go, I'm so glad we were, were able to work that out, right? You know, now I can go back to be a single and you can be single. It, it's definitely games and manip manip manipulation to them right now. They're not in alignment. So you're dealing with somebody who's not themselves or their divine self, but they have it in them. Uh, let's see why the magician is here. Remember, lies or protection. This is also someone who may say something like, and we'll see in the extended what they actually say, but there's something about, I don't want to admit that I'm dealing with more than one person. So I just get in there. I, you know, hang out with group three and then I leave before too many questions can be asked. The magician manipulating situations to benefit them and work in their favor while you are left with questions of what, what y'all are and what's going on. Why is the magician here? Queen of Wands. There's a Queen of Wands. Yeah, in the reverse. There's someone else. Maybe a Scorpio, maybe a fire sign. That's a um that's a little clue for you guys that there could be someone else in the picture. And this person they, they play games with this person too. This Queen of Wands feels like you. Yeah, Five of Swords. They play games with everybody. Unfortunately, right now, they're playing games. They're lying to you and to someone else. They're not lying to you and then going to someone and being like, yeah, I don't want group three. They're, they're kind of in a everybody mind their business, right? I, I do what I do with group three and I do what I do with Queen of Wands in the reverse, right? I think this person has a, another person in the picture. Yeah, Knight of Wands. And again, <laughs> be careful of what they consider a reconciliation because easily for this type of person, sex is that. The, the King of Swords, and I've said this for a long time as a reader, to me comes through as somebody who will make you feel like they're giving you what they want, but things are really on their terms. They're a master negotiator, okay? And so they're like a cunning lawyer who can write up all the terms and conditions. And you're like, oh my God, this contract says I'm signing to be married to my divine counterpart. And then when you go back and review, because they, you know, convince you to sign it, and then you go back and look at it and says, you know, this person does not have to spend 365 days with me. This person does not have to love me. This, you know, stuff like that. And so it's very careful to 
be mindful that you're dealing with someone who has tricks their tendencies. And while I do pick up the passion and while I do pick up that this person could care for you and at another time in their life, right? Maybe the next couple of weeks, next couple of months, they'll turn around and look at their behavior like, what the, what was I doing? What was I thinking treating group three like that? Right now, a reconciliation is a reach. The term reconcile, hooking back up with them, you got it. Um, seeing them, talking to them, you got it. Them reconciling their actions and behaviors that need to be changed, that doesn't feel like it happens right now with the King of Swords, with the this type of person, this Knight of Wands, who feels like you definitely are coming through as the person they would want to be with, right? The person matched to them, the person who gives them the, the run for their money. <clears throat> but this is a power struggle. Make no mistake about it. And a reconciliation for them kind of means giving in. And they're not willing to do that just yet. They're not compromising anything. They're not surrendering. Okay. So that's why you have to be careful and bringing you back to this before I go into the extended, the nine of wands and the seven of wands. Tough love with this person. Okay. So in the extended, I am going to take a look at if there's going to be a reconciliation by Valentine's Day. Something could, you know, <laughs> let's see what happens. If there will be about a reconciliation by Valentine's Day, how that reconciliation may play out. Um, I've been picking up details of when it could happen, how it could happen, daytime, nighttime, you know, what, who says what here. That's what I'm looking at. I'm also going to take a look at how you, how they think you feel about a reconciliation because sometimes people don't reach out or don't apologize or don't want to reconcile because they're like, that person doesn't want to reconcile with me or they would have done it already. So I'll take a look at how they think you feel right now about reconciling with them. I'll also take a look at in their own words because I really do love how that's turning out in the extended. Um, I'll take a look at in their own words, why are they taking so long to reconcile with you? And some things may actually come through about what all this kind of like a... um you know, manipulation is about. So group three, I am headed to the extended. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I appreciate you all. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading, check out the details in the description box. And if you are headed to the extended, I am talking to you there.